let's get let's get straight stuck in. So, every, like I said, everything's randomised. Every Pokemon's randomised. Even Professor Birch's randomised at the start here. Uh, he's gonna have a random Pokemon too. This is what we call a Pokemon. Ah, oh, <laughs> like that could not be more appropriate. How has that guy got a red quasar? All right, keep on going. It's cool. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Humans live alongside Pokemon. Blah blah blah. Yeah, I've played a few of these games. I don't think you don't tell me what a Pokemon is, Professor Birch. Oh, I do appreciate you uh, being so kind. And I am. Uh, I'm, am I a boy or a grill this time? Uh, I might be a grill for a change. Um, still gonna be called Saint though. Girls, girls are saints too. I can't believe you got a Rayquaza, man! You're Saint who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. I guess, I guess I am. All right, are you ready? Your very adventure is about to unfold. I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. I, you can guarantee that I am gonna do that, Professor. I guarantee it. Get your own room, yes! Because there's only two rooms in the house, so if I get one of them, I guess one gets the other, right? Or does mum not have a bed? And does dad not sleep anywhere? Yeah. Oh man, she's got an orange uh, GameCube. I'm so jealous. It says the Game Boy Advance is connected, but I can't see that. I wonder if that's orange as well. Oh, I thought you'd be having a nap about now, Becca. Oh, Dad was on TV, but we missed him. It was the Taxi Driver of the Year Awards. So let's go and see Professor Birch. Literally just got out of bed. No, not, not crying much this time. Taxi Driver of the Year Awards. Oh, what are you going to tell me? If you go outside and thought... All oh, right, yeah, I've got to go and see Professor Birch first, I remember. Oh, hello, and you are? Hello, I'm Saint. Oh, you're Saint, our new next door neighbour. Hi! Yeah, I mean, that's that small child's been working out with Brock Lesnar. But I don't want to see him. I'm going to go and pick on this child some more. Hey, kid! Hey, kid! You want to push me? Want to try again? Bitch! See what happens! Oh, my God. Shh. Coming for you. It's alright, we'll battle her later or something and beat her. No, she's gonna like pass now though, look. Um, hi, there are scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I want to go see what's going on, but they don't have any Pokemon. Can you go see what's happening for me? Not so tough now, are you? Boed. That's right, I called you a Boed. Right, this is where I'm gonna have the most fun because we get to choose a starter and they are randomised. And it could be anything. So, just in case you can't be asked to read the rules below, I've also set the rule that on my team of six, I can only have two from each generation. So, two Gen 1s, two, two Gen 2s, and two Gen 3s. If one of them fates, um, then that position on the team gets locked from whichever generation they are. So, if a Gen 1 dies, I can only have one generation, one Pokemon on the team, and then when I beat a gym, I can then unlock a slot. So, I've got a bit of a... Got a bit of a problem because obviously if five Pokemon faint in between one gym and another, then I've got to do that gym with just one Pokemon. So that's that's how the, that's how the lock's working here. I didn't I couldn't think of what to call it. I thought I could probably come up with a good name for it, but Gen Lock would have been good. I've already made the art now though, I can't be asked. Right, what have we got? So we've got a Cubone in the middle. Lonely Pokemon. On the right. C dot. Oh, that's, that's not two great starts. Mind your Cubone's okay, and on the left, come on, be something good. Flareon. Oh, I do like Flareon, but it is not the best. It's quite weak. I did start with a C dot last time, you're right. C dot was my starter Pokemon for the last one, and I called it Mogger. Ah, I know your team evolution, but I go with Flareon then. That's it, and that's one of my Gen One slots filled up then. You're saying this is not the place to chat. Yeah, we met. We've already met once, haven't we? Don't. He just dragged us back to his lab. That was against my will. I didn't want to go. Bernadette, you know what? It's a great name. 
I shouldn't I shouldn't have expected something ridiculous after all. You have my apologies. No, I can't do that. I need to do lowers. I can't deal with um Ah uh, I'm not I don't think I'm spelling it the way you put it. I can't see the chat right now, but it's just gonna fit, yeah. Before we go, let's have a little check of how our Pokemon on how our Pokemon is doing. Because I've also randomized the abilities, so it's another random ability. I've also randomized held items, so it could have something good with it. it could also have something crap. But so its ability is ability. Its ability is forecast. Changes with the weather. I don't know if I like that. Does that mean it's going to change type every depending on the weather? I suppose we'll find out as we play. Interesting. Okay, so let's take that off him. No. And see. Oh, I'm sorry, Bernadette. You're a guy and I've called you Bernadette. And that's, that's a bit cruel. Disable. Physically disables one of the foe's moves. Okay, could be useful in future. I don't want it right now, though. I haven't got Pokeballs yet, so the lock hasn't started. When I get Pokeballs, then... It's the start of the Nuzlocke. Oh, there's Kinglins in here! It's Mogger from the last series, which has grown up and come back to me. Mogger was the MVP uh, in Heart Gold. She was a Krabby. I never got her to evolve, but I would very much like to get a Kingler if I could. And I'm weak to this, so I don't really want to be having a big battle with it. I need to finish it off. Nice grip. Oh, I love Mogger. That's two Moggers from the last series already that I've met. What are the chances? Good stuff. It is a sign. It's a sign that I'm going to lose, just like I did the last one. Ooh, I'm just thinking, if we had the Kingler, then what Pokemon... No, not the Kingler, wait, you idiot. If I've got the Flareon, then what Pokemon will Brandon have? have. Ooh, there are Caesars in this room. <laughs> so, so far, there's a good chance I could get a fire and a water type in the first three routes. Okay, so it's this one and that one that live in route 103. He's just pretending. I just walked up behind him and he's pretending he's seen something. I'll tell you what being a trainer's about. I'll tell you what being a trainer's about. Eating puffins. Pokemon Trainer Crystal. He yeah, always got Crystal, it's randomised his name as well. That's good. Green is in this season. And he's taking the Cubone. Interesting. So that makes it. I mean, it's ground type, so it's going to be super effective against me if it uses any ground moves. Probably hasn't got any ground moves yet, but I'm thinking in the future, future battles. Keeps knocking my defense down, but I don't think it's got any physical attacks, so I don't really know if I care. I might just have to keep grinding him. <laughs> I mean, grinding him down. Don't grind a Cubone, it's a child. I mean, you can do what you want to a Marowak, get down on that shit, but no grinding Cubones. So we get Sableye. Ooh, have I got some... Yes, Newt's got something he can hit it with. I... Ooh. You're kidding! You actually... No way! What that, What kind of timing is that? You... You yanky my chain. That didn't just happen. Oh my god. I can't believe that! Again with another tackle, I think I might faint it. And then I will have given up two encounters, like the first two encounters of the game. And I don't want that. Right, I'm going to throw one more ball and just... Maybe I'll sing, a, sing to it. I'll give you milk and cookies like Santa Claus. I'll give you milk and cookies like Santa Claus. I'll give you milk and cookies like Santa Claus. I'll give you milk and cookies like Santa Claus. Oh my God, Vinny, you're an absolute legend. Jeez. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. Oh dear. I was going to ambush you, but you had to dawdle in Petalburg Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. 
You, Devon researcher, hand over those papers. <laughs> I mean, how how do we how do we say this? Aye! Possibly. <coughs> I like you, so you can have this. Use it on a Pokemon, and it will learn Solar Beam. Solar Beam. This guy just gave me Solar Beam. That's amazing. We'll find out if she reacts, and we'll know whether she's watching or not. I know she's in here somewhere. Tell her that Mogga sucks. I'll give it a try, shall we? Mogga sucks! Mogga sucks! <laughs> Very happy with that. Mr. Joe sends out Latias. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, he's got a Latias. Wish fails. Good, because that means it can finish it this turn. There we go. Perfect. Oh, there's a Vine Whip! No! Ah! So annoying. Thank you, Cedra. You are the first, first one to enter Heaven Box. I'm sorry for putting you through that. Cedra died. Oh no, that, that's a ground attack. No! Headbutt misses. That is a little blessing. Right. I don't know if I can take another headboard. This is that's it. That's the. That's it. Right, it's over. God damn. What next? Reggie Rock. Oh no! No, this isn't good. I have nothing that's going to be able to do anything against this thing. Oh no! Explosion! No! 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 Oh, thank goodness for that! Oh my god! Go into this cave, see what encounter we can get. Something good. Oh, and there's an item up there as well, so we'll have that. Oh. Oh, it's Arcanine! Yes! Not any good against this gym that I'm going to, because it's going to be weak against that fucking thing. But still, yes, yes, yes! Happy with that. Quagsire. Interesting again. Uh, it's... What is it? Uh, it's part water, I know that, so I need to be careful with it. Oh my god, this Arcanine's got water absorb! That's amazing! Anything could happen, I'm going to be honest. Let's, let's see. Let's see how it goes. Hello again, Roxanne. Good to see you, my friend. Right, start off with Comet Punch. Tail Whip lowers defense. Not good because it's got hard hitting moves like Bone Club and Headbutt and stuff. But. Oh god, it's got rough skin! Oh, which means every time I hit it, it's going to do me damage. So, Comet Punch isn't a good idea, because now every... Because that does hits like three to five times, so I'm going to get hurt three to five times every time I hit it. Which means, actually, Stomp is a better idea. Normal type attacking moves aren't going to be very effective, so it's trying to set me up. Bone Club, oh, it is super effective. How is that the case? We're both ground types. Right, let's chuck a Super Potion down. Uses a normal potion. That's fine. Man. Stomp it. Oh, that is that is not fun. It's just gonna have to be a case of keep healing and hoping that it doesn't keep using bone club time after time. Because otherwise I'm not gonna get a chance to hit the thing. This is the definition of a bad run. Oh, it did more damage that time. That's not what I need. Come on now. 
come on, be nice to me. Again. Oh my god, it's doing more damage every time. How many hate how many PP can Bone Club possibly have? It's such a powerful move. Oh, it's going again. Stop! There's nothing else I can do, because if I swap out, and if it hits anybody else with that bone club, they, they're down in one. So, misses. Right, that's good, because it means I can hit it with at least one attack. I'm just going to have to stomp again. It goes for Tail Whip. That's going to lower my defense. So, this is that, that's worse. A critical hit on that bone club now, and that's me. Toast. Come on, hit it again. Bone club misses again. That's right. Come on, come on, come on. Keep grinding it. Let me finish this guy off and get something easy. Stomp again. Use his bone club this time. It's down. Oh, no! God damn it. Oh, this is not ideal. He's still weak to it, so it's probably not going to do me any help whatsoever, but... Screw it, I'm doing it. Right, Ember's not going to be any good unless it manages to burn. So I'm probably better with Bite. And I'm faster, so I hit. Oh, thank God for that. What a time to get a critical. Just when I needed it. Oh my God, you send out a water type. Are you for real? Are you for real? Well, it's the Bites again then. No, oh, flinch. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Mind you, if he said that, sunlight is strong, which means fire type moves are more powerful. So perhaps I will have a go with the fire. Well, at least I've got water absorbed. So if it tries any water moves, it's just going to heal me up. That's a good thing. Uses a potion. Oh, she's just trying to storm me out. I just feel like she's going to come out with some amazing move that I'm not expecting. Oh, like roll out. That would be the one. Let's roll out rock type. That would be super effective, I'm sure. Flinches, though. Man, these are just grindy Pokemon. Oh my days! That is not good. Because it's going to kill me this turn, no matter what. If I switch out, it kills me. If I heal up, it's still going to kill me. What? Oh, I've got to bite it and just hope, beyond hope, that I flinch it. Nope. God damn it! Oh! Tell you what, these deaths are starting to pile up. It's all down to Bernadette. And so far, with the luck I've been having, I'm honestly not hopeful. Right, just let me move. If it uses rollout straight away, I am dead. Because it's going to be even more powerful now. It gets more powerful every turn. If I can get the tackle in... Oh, shit. Oh, it misses! Tackle finish it off. Oh, no. It's okay because it's not it's not picking up power from its rollout anymore, so it's gonna start again. So that's a slow rollout. There we go, cool, I can I can do this. Tackle finishes it off, nice one. Still got one more Pokemon to go, this is ridiculous. And we get Pinsir Bug type. <sighs> now I'm a fire type. Which makes me think, even though I've not got any fire moves, hopefully I can survive. Focus energy. Vice grip. Ooh, do you know what? That's not too shabby. I can survive another one, though. That's alright. Tackle. Now I have got to heal. Hana! Becky says, Hana! Vice grip. There we go. Tackle's finish it off. Come on. Ooh, you... Yeah. Pushing me right to the edge here. Don't crit me. Don't crit me. Don't crit me. Don't crit me. Ooh. Oh my god. After all of that. Oh, man. Oh, that is the worst gym battle of my entire poker career. Oh my days. Stone badge. Yeah. Oh, hang on, there's something going off. 
Wait, please don't take my goods. Hey, don't take his goods. We may as well take Parasect with us because it's better to have a Pokemon than not have a Pokemon, you know. Oh, it's you. You're a fantastic trainer who helped me. In blah, 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 blah. If I don't, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to help you get them back. Don't worry. I am on your side, my friend. I am here for you. Hello, sir. Oh, what am I to do? We're on our walk, Pico and I, when we were jumped by an odd thug. Oh, I dare say the guy that's taking your Pokemon is probably the guy that I'm looking for. So let's take him on. There he is. What? Are you coming? Come and get some then. Okay. Things are going well. Gra! Kill all it all! That hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. And to think I made And to think I made a getaway in this tunnel to nowhere. Hey you, so you want to battle me? Yes. I would quite like to battle you. Uh, Team Aqua member Antoinette again. She's got Chikorita. That's good. That's good news for us. The tackle off. Nice one. It's all about who's got the better tackle. Ew Gross gets level four, and Antoinette goes down. Thank you very much. This plan is not right. Boss told me this would be a slick, easy job to pull off. All I had to do was steal some package from Devon. Touch, you want it that badly, take it. Dun 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 dun. Thank you. And we have Master Ball. Waterstone again. That's two of those I've got now. Right, back to the guy. Oh, here he is. How did it go? The Devon goods. You did it. You got them back. You're welcome. It gives me another great ball. That's good, because I used that last one on that flipping Arcanine. Please come with me. President would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Absolutely. Please go ahead. What do you want? I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just got word about you. You saved our staff not just once, but twice. I have a favour to ask of an amazing person like you. I am. I am indeed. There we go. Now you should know that I'm a great president, so I'd never be so cheap as to ask for a favour with nothing in return. That's why I want you to have this. Pokinav. Thank you, sir. So I'm Oh, it's got a map. I can check the locations. Sinister, Trimacles, Magma and Aqua. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, and he sealed my Pokemon up for me. Oh, what do you want? I've been developing an added feature for the Pokenav. It turned out great. May I see that Pokenav? There you go. I had a new feature called Match Call. Use the Match Call feature. You can chat to people who have been registered in your Pokenav. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, please don't say I have to battle you right now. Please register each other so we can get in touch at any time. Register Brendan. Oh, God. That way. By the way, saying that, I walked by Mr. Briny in Petalburg Woods. I bet he's on his way to his home. How's your Pokedex? Have you filled the pages? Mine rules. Want to have a battle to test how far you've progressed? No. What's the matter? Don't have any confidence in your Pokemon? Master Ball. Peckerberry. Or Pech Peachaberry? Ugh. Oh, there's a ball there as well. Master Ball! Firestone! Master Ball! Leperberry! Stop giving me berries, man! Oh, Mr. Whatever his name is, not Mr. Duford. Mr. Briny will take us to Duford. Yes! You've come to the right man! We'll set sail for Duford, let's do it. So, we go to Duford. There's a cave there, we get the encounter. And we leave. I've got a phone call. Dad, oh Saint, where are you now? It sounds windy wherever you are. I just heard from Devon's Mr. Stone about your poking after I decided to give you a call. Sounds like you're doing fine, that's fine with me. Take care now. Oh, I love you too. Registered Dad Norman, as opposed to all my other dads. At least I know which one it is. Apparently my mum in this game is a little bit of a uh, slew. Okay, so let's see... First of all, if this guy wants to battle us, and secondly... Hey, you, it gets awfully dark head, it'll be tough trying to explore. The guy who came by earlier, Steven I think it was, knew how to use Flash. Okay, so I get Flash. I think I need to beat the gym to use it though. So... Yeah, I need to get the gym. But that's fine, I'm still going to get the encounter in here. And it is Electables. Now that is some type coverage right there. We'll have a bit of that, thank you very much. Let's try the Great Ball on this. Oh, it's not even close. 
Right, so how am I going to win this thing then? We make the switch and we do the paralysis. Now, Electabuzz again, unfortunately, is another Gen 1 Pokemon. So once again, he's not going to be able to... I'm going to have to choose between him and Parasect, and it's probably going to be him, I'm going to be honest. It's not really that hard a choice. Particularly if he's got any electric moves on him, because that's going to be useful. Nest Ball, better on weaker Pokemon. Not really weak Pokemon. I'm going to throw it anyway, because I don't want to use my Ultra Ball if I can get... Not two, three, yes! If I've just caught an Electro Buzz in a nest ball, people see me calling it BuzzFeed, they might think I endorse the bullshit that comes off that website. <laughs> Electro Wee. Oh, and we find a Pokeball, not that that's any use to anybody. Right, so, back to the Pokemon Center. And I'm thinking that's probably going to have to be the end, I think. So I want to go and have some dinner. It is definitely dinner time. Hey, if you're interested in any of the other stuff that I'm doing, you can have a look at my social medias around here somewhere on this side of the screen. And, you know, you can follow me and you can subscribe to me. Or you can follow me on Twitter if you want to. That would be cool. I mean, then you'll see what I'm doing. Not that any of it's that interesting. But uh, who knows? You might enjoy it. You might not. 50-50 chance. Let me know.